So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the Electoral College after this August's consistory. Uh, the Electoral College who will elect the next Pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next Pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next Pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So we just have a look at the last 20 popes here. So I've just done a list up here of the last 20 popes since 1675. That was the last, um, that was the earliest of these popes so that we can just understand the profile, the average age and so forth. So the average age a pope gets elected is 65. And Pope Benedict has been the oldest pope elected in nearly 200 years as far as I can see. I didn't go back too far. Now I know people live longer these days and Pope Francis was elected at 76. We had Pope John the 23rd elected at 77 but generally speaking, generally speaking, popes are elected in their 60s. And another thing to note about who will be the next pope, it generally doesn't be the Secretary of State. So the last we had Pope Pius the Twelfth here, who was elected. He was Secretary of State, but generally speaking, the Secretary of State uh, does not tend to be elected. So we'll see. Uh, interesting time. So I've put together a list of all of the different um, cardinals in the Electoral College, and we're going to go through these. I've co coloured some of them, some of them in red because. Um, you know, they, they work in the Vatican and they have a profile in the church. And generally speaking, it's cardinals who are who are held up, who, are, who have a profile in the church. In the past, it would have been the Archbishop of Milan, the Archbishop of, um, of Venice or uh, somebody in the Vatican. So it would have been usually somebody who is known. So this is an interesting time. So I'm just going to walk you through the profile of each individual cardinals just so that we become familiar with them and uh, you know it's a bit of trivia in a way but it's um, interesting to know who are these pro uh, cardinals and how do we think they will vote in the next conclave. So the next cardinal we're going to look at is Cardinal Virgilio do Carma da Silva. He will be a created a cardinal this month. And uh, we'll just go to the profile of um, this bishop from East Timor. He's 54 years old. Uh, he was installed bishop under Pope Francis on the 30th of January 2016. He was ordained a priest on the 18th of December 1998. Uh, he was consecrated a bishop on the, the 19th of March 2016. Born the 27th. 27th of November 1967 in Veniale, Portuguese Timor. His nationality is East Timorese and uh, his motto is Caritas Christi Urget Nos. Um, so this May, this year, Pope Francis announced he would make him a cardinal in the consistory on the 27th of August. He was born, uh, as I said, on the 27th of November 1967 in Veni Lale. He was attending Salesian primary and secondary schools in Fatumaca. He joined the Salesians of Don Bosco on the 31st of May 1990. He studied philosophy and theology in Manila, Philippines. And on the 19th of March 1997, he made his perpetual profession and was ordained a priest on the 18th of December 1998. From 1999 to 2004 and again from 2007 to 2014, Da Silva was a novice master for the Salesians. From 2005 he studied in Rome for licentiate in spirituality at the Pontifical Salesian University. From 2009 to 2014, he was director of the Technical School of Nossa Senhora da Fatima in Fatumaca. 
and in 2015 he became Provincial Superior of the Salesians in East Timor and Indonesia. On the 30th of Jan January 2016, Pope Francis appointed him Bishop of Dili. He replaced Bishop Alberto Ricardo da Silva, who died of brain cancer on the 2nd of April 2015. He received his Episcopal consecration on the 19th of March from Archbishop uh, Joseph Marino, Apostolic Nuncio to East Timor, assisted by Bishops uh, Basilio da Nascimento da ba Bacau and Norberto do Amaril from Maliana. Launching in 2018 a pilgrimage of key religious sites in East Timor, da Silva said it is time for the church and government to unite and to develop forms of religious tourism that are rich not only on the spiritual side but also in social, economic and cultural historical aspects. The country has started to develop religious tourism to give the fragile economy a much needed boost. In May 2018, police in Delili were placed on high alert after learning of potential attacks from Islamic extremists on churches as well as Bishop da Silva after recent, recent elections in the country. In, on the 11th of September 2019, Pope Francis created the ecclesial, ecclesiastical province of Delili, making Delili a metropolitan archdiocese and appointed da Silva as is as Timor Leste's first archbishop. So very interesting profile here. He's he's a religious. He has been a superior. He he's he knows how to form people. Um Salesian um seems to have a good track record and uh will be interesting to see which way he will vote. Will he be the next pope? I very much doubt it because as I said the average age a pope is elected is in the 60s and he usually has a Vatican profile or, and so forth or a public profile um, um, Cardinal Virgil Virgilio at the moment doesn't seem to have those and so he will be uh, one of those new cardinals in the college who will be interested to see what way he will vote I would very much f say he would vote for Cardinal Tagle as Pope Um also to note, generally speaking, new cardinals, very new cardinals, don't become popes. The last time that happened was Pope Benedict the Fifteenth. But if you look at the history of who is elected pope, generally speaking, it's not the batch of cardinals who was in the, con the consistory before the pope dies. But as I said, things are changing in the Catholic Church. We don't know how things will plan out, but I very much suspect that Cardinal Virgilio do Carma da Silva will not be the next Pope. He will most probably vote for Cardinal Tagle uh, because he comes from Asia and he is he has studied in, um, in the Philippines. So that's this profile of Cardinal Virgilio.